Hey, what's up? Hey, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to record your iOS device's screen running iOS 9 and above without a jailbreak or a computer. This is the first screen recorder of its kind on iOS 9 and is truly innovative. However, as of the release of this video, it's still in beta stages and may have a few bugs here and there. Nonetheless, this is a video that has been highly requested by tons of my viewers and I hope you all are excited to learn how to record your iPhone, iPad, or iPod. If so, please hit that like button as I tried my best to make this tutorial clear and easy to follow. Now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, getting Airshow is very simple and all you have to do is open your iEmulator's application or simply open Safari and type in the URL iEmulators.com. If you'd like to learn how to get the iEmulator's application, all you have to do is click on the square with the arrow on it, select Add to Home Screen, and then Add. I'm going to click Cancel since I already have it. However, to get Airshow, all you have to do is go to the URL and instead of iEmulators.com, you want to type in iEmulators.com backslash air show or you can click on the link that was at the front of iEmulators.com. Upon arriving at this site you can click on air show and read all about it and this new amazing application by the same developers that made show screen recorder. However to install it all you have to do is hit install and then it'll give you the install prompt. Once it gives you the install prompt you can head home and you'll see that your show application is now installing. However, if you're on iOS 9 and above, when you try to open it, it'll say untrusted developer. So what you want to do is head to settings and upon arriving at the settings, go to general, scroll down to profiles or profiles and device management, and then find the profile that has air show and trust it just as I'm doing here. Once you trust it, you'll be allowed to open the application and from here, I'll walk you through the process of setting up air show. When you open Airshow, it'll ask you to install the Show TV application from the App Store. So you can go ahead and do that by heading to the App Store and then going to the search tab and searching Show, S-H-O-U, just as I'm doing here. And the application you want to install is the one that you see here. So go ahead and hit install, enter your information if it asks you. And this is a completely free application, so do not worry about having to pay anything. And once it's done, we can continue with the setup process. So once Show TV is done, you can go ahead and open it and you'll have to make an account. Whether it is that you log in with Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, it's very simple. And of course, I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once you're logged in to your account, you can exit Show TV and head into Airshow. Once you open Airshow, if it's just a white screen, go ahead and exit it out of the multitasking bar as I did here and try opening it again. You should get a screen like this that says log in with Show TV and it'll ask you to open Show TV. When you open that, it'll ask you to open Airshow and then you'll get to a screen like this. At this moment in time, it is in alpha stages and the only way to get into the application is with an invitation code. Now. At this time, as I'm releasing this video, I myself have 50 invitation codes. As you can see, when I click on the information at the top left and then scrolling down, I have 50 codes. So 50 of you guys can already start to use this app. However, every person that installs this app gets five invite codes. So it's pretty much a chain effect. Every time someone installs the app, you should share your code so that other people can install the app. So if you have show invite codes, be sure to leave them in the comment section below so other people can install them as well as follow me on Twitter as I'll be giving out tons of codes throughout the day and this week um, on Twitter. So if you need a code, hit me up on Twitter and I'll be happy to give you one or just tech, check the comment section below. I know there's going to be tons of people there that can help you out. Nonetheless, once you get into the app, it's very simple to use. Just name your recording, choose the orientation and hit record. Once you hit record, it'll give you the instructions on what you need to do, which is open the control center, go to AirPlay, select your own device in the AirPlay section, which is Air Show, and then your device. And then it'll ask you for the speaker. That doesn't really matter. Make sure you turn mirroring on and then hit done. It'll ask you for access to the microphone. You can hit OK 
and as you can see you're now recording your iOS 9 device you'll know you're recording based on the red bar at the top of the screen and you can just go ahead and do whatever you want to do whether it is record gameplay uh, do a Twitter Q&A as you can see I'm on Twitter now and there's actually a few codes here so you can go ahead and try these codes out although I think they've probably all been taken by now but Definitely follow me on Twitter. I'll be giving out codes all the time. My Twitter's Operation iDroid. If you need a code, your best bet is to head there um, because I think the comment section for this video is going to get pretty crazy. Nonetheless, you can also record games. However, you'll notice that some games will give you a black screen or will just freeze in your recordings. And you can actually fix this with a very easy solution that I'm going to show you now. So as you can see, I'm trying to play this game here. But when I go back to my recording and I stop it, and then I go to my recordings by clicking on the top right hand corner, I can have my recording right here. And you can actually play it from within the app. And as you're going to see, when I play it, it's kind of just going to freeze right before I open the game that I want to record or in other cases, it'll just be a black screen. If this happens to you, you need to follow exactly what I'm going to do on the screen now. So as you can see, there's like no um, footage of the game I was playing. It just freezed right before I went to that game. So to solve this problem, you want to turn on assistive touch to turn assistive touch on. You're going to head back to your home screen and into your settings. When you arrive at your settings, you want to go to general, just as we were before. And from general, you want to head to accessibility. Once you get to accessibility, you want to scroll down and go to accessibility shortcuts and check mark assistive touch. What this will do is every time you triple tap the home button, the assistive touch will come up. As you can see here, this thing right here is the assistive touch. Now, when you start your recording and you record your games, the assistive touch will allow you to actually record the gameplay of the games. Now, if you're using GBA for iOS or NDS for iOS, something like that, you have to make sure that the assistive touch is actually on the screen of the Game Boy or Nintendo DS game that you're playing. And always make sure that you do not have the game open before you start your recording. Make sure it is out of the multitasking bar so that when you open it, make sure you move the assistive touch around a little bit so that it will actually pick it up in the show application. So as you can see, I have the assistive touch on now and I moved it around a bit. So then now that when we go back to my recording, we stop it and then we go to recordings at the top right hand corner and we play it. You'll see that it actually did record the game this time, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are huge gamers and have channels yourself that you like to record content for. So with this, you'll be able to record your game. So as you can see, as I'm scrolling through here and I press play, it actually did indeed record the game I was playing. And with that, you'll be able to record gameplay or whatever it may be using Airshow on your iOS 9 device and above. However, some of you may be wondering, how do I get these actual recordings out of Airshow? Well, this is very simple. Instead of pressing play, you want to go ahead and click open in and you can open it into iMovie or any of your editing applications or you can save it to your camera roll and of course it'll ask you for access to your photos hit OK and once it's done it'll say save successful and you can go to your photos and from here you'll see that your recording is now there where you can upload it to YouTube or do whatever it is that you want to do. Um, some people may edit it on their phone and if you guys would like a tutorial on how to edit your recordings. Um, make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comment section below because I would love to do that for you guys because for those that don't know, I actually started my YouTube channel directly from just my phone, recording and editing straight from there. Nonetheless, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and if you're new, make sure to subscribe because I make awesome tutorials like this every week. And as always, thanks for watching this with me. and. Thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.